I'm gonna show you how you can solder like a pro in three easy steps. Number one, most factories today that manufacture electronics use lead-free solder. Lead-free solder does work, but it does require more heat from your hot air station or your soldering iron, and it doesn't seem to flow real well either. So if you've tried to solder something and the solder doesn't seem to melt, don't worry, you're not crazy. Let me show you an example on how to remedy this. You can use leaded solder to flow and mix with the lead free, ultimately lowering the melting temperature. Once you have your part or component removed, we can wick away with our solder braid or suck away with our solder sucker, removing that old lead free and replacing it with much better leaded solder. Number two, let me guess, you tried to add some leaded solder to your joints and they look like this. You've bridged all your joints and now you're stuck with this large blob. The two things, don't use that much solder and you need flux. When it comes to electronics, you absolutely need to use flux for soldering electronics, not plumber's flux. And yes, most leaded solder brands have flux core, but most of the time it's never enough. It'll literally change your life. It'll be like a night and day difference if you use flux. The two types of solder that I use in my videos is Amtec 559 ASM and Amtec 213. If you go to amtecdirect.com and use the discount code Chase Fournier at the checkout, you'll get a discount on your order. The links will be in the description. And number three, there are so many variables when soldering, like the thickness of the board or the component that you're trying to solder or desolder, or whether you need a hot air station to remove the component or a larger tip on your solder iron. I'm going to leave you with this. Your soldering iron tip matters so much it's not even funny. That's why I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different tips for different jobs. Sometimes you can get away with using just one tip for the job, but sometimes you need two or three tips to do a job. If your joints are not heating up, then use a larger tip for your iron. It will make all the difference when transferring a large amount of heat to that solder joint. You may find it easier to have visuals on screen on how to master your soldering by checking out my video where I change a charging port on a tablet using all the techniques in this video. The link will be here. Right uh, here on the screen and down in the comments and in the description. I hope to see you guys over there.